For the following question, mystery three, we're asked, for each call to the following method, indicate what console output is produced. So we're given the parameter zero, that means we're passed through zero. If n is less than or equal to zero, output just one asterisk. So the output is just one asterisk. For the next question, for the next um, method, we're passed in one. Now we look at our if-else statements. So it is not less than zero, it can't be that. It is not divisible by two. Well, it is, but the modulus of two does not equal zero. The modulus of one is not zero, since it is an odd number. So we have to look at the else statement. And we have a bracket. We have a recursion and another bracket. So first we're gonna print out our first bracket. We are gonna go into our recur or mystery three. Our n value is one. We have to pass this back up to the method and we have to do n one minus one and that's gonna be zero. So now we can look at our if statement since n is less than or equal to zero, we are going to use this. So this is just going to return a star and an asterisk because it needs to keep going once that is complete. The next method we're given two. We can put this into our else if statement since the modulus of two is zero since it is an even number. Our n value is two, so we're gonna have a two here. Passing it up to the parameter, we have to do two minus one, which will be one. We're given an, a one, and that is not less than or equal to zero. It is not, divis it is, the modulus of two of it is not equal to zero, so that means it has to be in our else statement. Going into our else statement, we see that we have these brackets. What's gonna end up happening is we have our n, which is one. So we're gonna have a one here. We're gonna pass it to the method because of recursion, and we are just going to get a zero. Since zero is our if statement right here, we're just gonna go into that. Now we need to start from our base case, which is zero, and go back. Our zero is asking us to print a star, an asterisk. Now we have to go back here and see what we need to do. Well, before asterisk, we actually need this. We, we need a bracket because that is right here which, before the recursion. Next, we have a bracket after the recursion. After this, from our one, we have to go to this portion right here. So we go from here to here and we are gonna go back through. And in doing this, we see that we have a bracket right here, or uh, we have a parenthesis right here. And we also have a parenthesis in front of it right here. So we need a parenthesis like this, and that is going to be the answer. For this next part, we're given four as our parameter. And if we look in our statements, we have it being the modulus of two. Since it is like this, we have our parenthesis in the front. Now we have our recursion. So we have four minus one being passed back into the method. So we have three. We have to go into our else statement since it is not less than or equal to zero and it is not, and the modulus of two does not equal zero. So we have a bracket right here. We're gonna have three minus one. So once we pass it back into our method, we are gonna have two. Now we have two in our method. We're gonna be in our else if statement since the modulus of two is equal to zero. So we're gonna have a parenthesis, and then we are going to have a two minus one, which is equal to one. So one is gonna be passed through up here. After we do this, we need to go into our else statement again. Passing in a one, we get a, another bracket, and one minus one is gonna go up top, which is zero. So now we get into our base case. Once we're at our base case, we can start unwinding. So we have our star like this. From our zero, we're gonna go back here to our one. We see that we have a bracket, so we need to output a bracket. From our one, we're gonna go back up here and go into our two. We see that our two has a parenthesis because we're looking at it right here because it needs to go from this part into this next part. After two, we're gonna go up here and then back to three. 
seeing that we have a bracket and then from three to four and we have a parenthesis again right here so this is going to be our answer and for the last one it is just the same thing this will be the answer